Hi, today we will learn how to install MHM, Mesoscale Hadoosh model, onto your Windows 10 machines. For that, first we need SIGWIN environment to compile your Fortran codes. Let's get the SIGWIN 64, download it to your local machine. I have it already here. When you double click it, you are asked to select a mirror or a server. I usually select servers with uh, EDU tech uh, and a, a university uh, web, web page. And then this is the step one. Second step. You, you search MHM in internet, on internet, or find the link and get the latest version. This is 5.10 fixed. Download it as a zip or whatever. And then unzip it in your D drive or where appropriate I download it here unzip the file and then you get this one this is a clean clean MHM files in source folder subfolder you get MHM codes uh, mesoscale uh, routing model, um, multi-parameter regionalization, all the source codes are here and most importantly here we have the manual which will be our guide through the installation. So libraries, libraries are explained in section 2.3. You need to install all the packages to your SIGWIN environment before compiling. So you search NetCDF. This part should remain category for easy installation libraries. You select here to down install all of them. Not to leave any chance to for, for a bug or a failure in the installation, please select all libraries. Even these files are small based on their size, uh, you can even install all of them. Usually I, I try that one, but at least libraries should be there. And step by step, figure 2, 1, 2, 2, HDF5, G-Fortran, lib G-Fortran, make, yes, and we are done. If necessary, you can search GNU and you can install libraries here as well. Uh, you can search Fortran, everything about Fortran you can install. And then after you say next, 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 it will take a quite a long time to finalize uh, the runs or the installation of these libraries. And once you are ready, you can start your SIGWIN terminal. What we will do is very simple. Your clean folder is here. Take it. and then bring it to your terminal change directory I use these two comma commas and then go to that folder let's list the files alright 
the source src folder is there and then just one line 